This 200-foot Victorian water tower in East London, converted into apartments, is, it seems, just what the Ministry of Defence is looking for. And here's why. Lying just west of the Olympic Stadium, the high tower offers a perfect position to sight a battery of surface-to-air missiles with a commanding view across the Olympic Park. If the tests are successful, this is the ground-based defence system that will become operational over the Olympics. Residents in the seven-acre complex first learned of the plans when this Ministry of Defence leaflet dropped through their doors on Friday. And some are unhappy, concerned the deployment could turn them into targets. If you've got high-level terrorists who are planning a very sophisticated attack in which they would fly an aircraft into the Olympic Stadium, which is what we're talking about here, that's the only reason why you would deploy these missiles, then clearly those are terrorists who are sophisticated enough to think, how do I get rid of any threats to that attack? That clearly makes us a target. With the Olympics less than three months away, security is being ramped up across the capital. The massive military and police presence, including special forces, mobilised to counter any threat to the safety of the Games. And the message from Britain's Ministry of Defence, expect more of the same. About another eight potential surface-to-air missile sites are being scouted across East London as part of what they call a multi-layered security operation to protect the Olympics. All that at a cost of one and a half billion dollars. Peter Sharp, Al Jazeera in London.